So I've been building my hazel in case I wanted to try out the catalyst for an animal character. And I don't know about you, but that sounds a little bit interesting to me. The, the thing is, I want to test out hazel to the utmost of his strength. Well, currently, 70 out of 80 is the strength that I can currently have him at. And we're going to try to see what we can do and how much damage we can actually do with Hazo. The reason I'm doing this is to test out the potential damage of Scaramouche using what I currently have right now. I'm going to be using the Witsit, which is an incredible four-star catalyst weapon. It's going to give so many buffs, and all of these buffs are going to be pretty good. Whether it's someone's mastery, elemental damage increase, or increase in attack, going to be really nice now the artifact set is not a four piece viridescent it is actually two piece of the viridescent and two piece of the vermilion set obviously i could run four piece viridescent but currently in the team i have them in i'm running either you know gene or kazaha and they have viridescent instead i'm going to be using that and i do have three constellations so it's going to be a little bit skewed but it is not i'm not exceeding level 10 uh he does have a little 10 on his e i'm not exceeding it so we can see a c1 potential scaramouche in, in term of a four star character now i'm not gonna say he's going to be exactly like this obviously he's going to be a little bit more powerful he is a five star character so his you know stats are going to be a little more different more skewed more powerful and this time around though we are going to be trying out our very own Scaramouche, which is going to be Haze Up. Now, let's talk about a little bit of the artifact set. Obviously, the four piece of the Viridescent would be, you know, useful. It, I would use it on Hazo, but maybe having a little bit of attack percentage might be good if I have another Viridescent character in my team. Now, there are rumors, wink wink, that there might be new artifact sets. So technically, I can't even farm if I wanted to for the Scaramouche in the future because, well, we don't really have the artifact set yet. But once we do get that, I'm going to be farming it as much as possible so I can get the best Scaramouche possible on that account. Obviously, I do not have Hazo on my free-to-play account, but I do have the same setup. Uh, he's... <laughs> Pretty much almost ready to be unleashed once i you know have enough of the stuff all right so there are many teams that you could use with hazel or quote unquote scaramouche that we don't really have the access to yet seeing that farazan isn't actually out this is the current teams that i currently have to show you hazel is actually pretty popular on the taser team having shinkjar yelan as well as vedo and a jean or maybe even a cookie shinobu on the other side to really put them all together mix them up make it awesome but in the situation where you don't have a second animal character your hazo or your scaramouche is going to have to have the four piece of the verdescence to really shred with the new artifact set coming out you probably want to use that one and you won't have a vv set and that is just something to consider now there are multiple teams that you can have that you could also use this is also somewhat of a taser team but this one has kind of Arakaza, as well as Kuki Shinobu to give you a little bit of a different type of vibe you know different buff this will help you your this will help with grouping especially if Heizo is unable to do that even though he kind of can do that uh Kaido Harakaza can give you a little bit more buffs for your Shinchar Kuki Shinobu it depends on which one you shred and it's just a generally good one as well. Angling as well as Bennett this is obviously the you know the average vaporized team that you would have and of course, in this situation, you would want to have Shikinu and Heizo with a little bit of a Viridescent set in order for him to actually bring out the best in this team. As he's acting as sort of the catalyst or the support, the rest of the team in terms of how much damage that they can actually output. You're going to be doing most of it through Shingcho and Xiangling in this situation. So that is also an awesome team to think about. And you can also run the Freeze team. So here's the free theme that you could also have, you know, the perma freeze at least. You can have Hazo, Shinkcho, Rosari, as well as Kea. In this situation, you don't have a healer or a designated healer. You can have Shinkcho who can do a, can do a little bit of healing, but he's not going to be doing the most. So you're going to have to try your best to actually stay alive, but that shouldn't be a problem knowing that you would be freezing your opponents almost the entire time. So you'd be taking less damage overall. But you have to consider that you have to play well. You have to know timings. You have to actually get a lot of energy recharge for Rosario or Chaos. So you can always have 
your ultimates, your bursts, whatever it is, up all the time. Now, in this situation, Hazel would still be running a Viridescent set, but it is not at the absolute most necessary thing because Shinto is going to be dealing that sub DPS that you want. But Rosaria and KL, sure, they would do a lot of damage through their burst. It is Hazel that is going to be doing the most damage still. So that is also something to consider when you are making this team the perma freeze team at least. For now, we're going to be running the Hazel Shinto Beidou you know, gene team. Now against one opponent, Beto sh isn't going to really shine that much as she really shines when there's, you know, two to three opponents on the field at the same time. So her burst does, you know, jump around the opponents all the time. All right, so we're going to be going into the Spiral Abyss to be trying out this team, which is going to be the Taser team. And let's just get into it. Of course, not knowing what the actual talents of the future Skarmouche would be, this wouldn't be an exact showcase of that power, nor could it be. But we just wanted to try something fun, and I personally really like this Hazo team, this Taser comp, especially if there are multiple opponents. But yeah, that is going to be it for now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My final verdict, I really like Hazel personally, so I don't see why I wouldn't like Skarmouche in the future, especially him being an animal character. I'm sure he has some sort of awesome gimmick that I could get behind. Obviously, he didn't clear the Spiral Abyss in the fastest manner, but that is because he is 70 out of 80. Um, his artifact set isn't exactly the most optimal thing on the entire planet, and his talents have a lot to work on, especially the normal attack, since I use this quite a lot in the actual fighting twins, and obviously I can still level this one up much more all in all i really like this team i really, really like the taser team especially for hazo so yeah that is going to be pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did like this video please consider liking this video as well subscribing to the channel let me know what you guys think if you have any questions let me know in the co in the comment section down below that'll be it see you guys in the next video very soon bye bye